in thinking about the different types of programming we're doing, um, whenever you start programming, you always go into default mode. And that's doing things such as sending the words hello world to the screen and loading up variables. And these are all fine and good, but they're not pretty. And I thought we'd try to do something pretty. And so what we're going to do is we're going to deal with some graphics. Now all programming languages have the ability to do something graphical. Python is the same. Python has several ways of doing graphics, one of which is called turtle graphics. Now the reason for using turtle graphics is that we don't have to download from the internet anything special. All we've got to do is tell Python that we're going to use turtle graphics. Several commands Python understands from the moment you start it. One of those is the print command. If I do print and then hello world, we know that that knows that command straight away and I can press enter and off it will go and run the command. Um, but several other commands it doesn't know. You've got to load what's called a library and that library has a whole load of new commands you can use and that extends your programming language. And you can download new libraries uh, for playing games and things like that or writing games. A turtle graphics already exists, we just got to activate it. So let's get started. Let's have a look at how this works. I'm going to go to file and new file because I'm going to code in normal mode, not in the immediate mode I've just done over here. If you remember, immediate mode means if I type the command in and press enter, it immediately runs the command. But in normal mode, I can write a whole series of commands. It won't run until I tell it to. Now, as I say, turtle graphics is not naturally part of Python. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to load the commands by telling it to import turtle. Now it's going to pull in turtle and that's going to give my system a whole load of new commands. Now I'm not going to know what those commands are, it's not going to show me, I press enter, nothing's going to happen. But I know as a programmer I now have access to a whole new set of words. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create what we call an instance of an object. An object is something that exists, a turtle exists. Uh, monitors exist, TVs exist, mobile phones exist, books exist. These are all objects and an instance of those would be my TV or my, my mobile phone or in this case my turtle. Now I don't have to call it my turtle, I could call it anything I want. So Douglas, so Helen, I don't, I don't care what I call it, I can call it anything I want. But I'm going to call this one, one my turtle and I'm going to tell that my turtle I'm going to tell the computer what I mean by that. So I'm going to tell it that I believe that my turtle is of the class turtle and that it is a turtle. That seems a bit weird if you haven't done that before and you will get your head around that slowly. But basically I can now refer to my object, my turtle. And I can tell it, say to it, look, yeah, you're a turtle. That's what you are, but I want you to do certain things. For example, for example, uh, for example, um, I'm going to tell my turtle to be of a particular colour. Now, do note that I'm using the American spelling of colour. Um, so if you're in the UK, don't forget to spell it the American way. Don't put the U in. And if you're American, well, just keep spelling it the way you always have, always have done. Uh, I've put the word blue in capital B because that's important. My turtle dot colour and I'm telling my turtle to be blue. Uh, if I run this, by the way, and I go run module, remember I haven't saved this at all, so it's going to come up and tell, ask me to save this. I'm going to say OK, and I need to give this a word. Now we're going to draw a circle, so let's call it circles. Why not? Uh, probably for some very healthy reasons. Now, this window's come up because I've told it I want to work with turtles, so it's already created a graphic window. You can see it says Python turtle graphics, and in the center is my turtle. And my turtle is blue, which is good because that's what I told my turtle to be. So my turtle's behaving, but it's not very turtle-like. Um, it's a strange little triangular thing, and I'd like it to be a turtle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the X and click on it twice because that's what I need to do on this. And I'm going to tell it that the shape of my turtle, and I'm going to put turtle. So I'm asking my system to make my turtle turtle shaped. I don't have to have it turtle shaped, but hey, if you're going to talk about a turtle, don't forget you've got to save it each time. Uh, if you're going to talk about turtle, hey, let's have a turtle. I've now got a blue turtle, that's, that's cool. Good, well that was exciting. Um, I have a blue turtle, let's make the turtle do something. So, my turtle dot circle. 
What's a circle need? A circle needs it's round. What's it? What's the one thing I need to know? I know the colour of it is going to be blue. I know that. I've told that. But what? Ah, oh, it's actually telling me there radius. I need to give it a radius. I'm going to give it a radius of 50. So 50 what? 50 pixels. That's the smallest measurement on the computer screen pixel. Uh, it's made up of three dots, red, green, blue, and we're going to have 50 of them. So that's going to be my circle. And I'm going to run, run, and I haven't saved it since. So, okay, there I go, resaved it to circle, and as if by magic, my turtle has drawn a circle of 50 pixels between the center and the edge, the radius. But I'm quite proud of my circle. That's very nice. Um, I'm going to change my code slightly. I'm, I'm going to add to my little code here. Uh, I'm going to copy those lines. So copy those and then I'm going to print them again. And I'm going to tell my circle now to be black. And I'm going to run by program. And there is my, there's my blue circle. Uh, and hold on, hold on. Um, okay, my turtle's just drawn over top of the other circle. So now I've got the black circle and my blue circle's gone. What I would like to do is see both circles. So I'm going to change something about the circle. I'm going to change the angle. And I'm going to use a command. How do I know these commands exist, by the way? Well, because I have magical powers and I'm able to know that they exist. Or I have read about them somewhere. Um, so, and it was the latter, by the way. I haven't used magic at all. Um, and basically, I've looked these up and I've researched these commands. And that's how you learn about them. There's nothing magical about it. It is about looking it up, researching, saying, well, I want to draw a circle. How do I draw a circle in this programming language? And you find out about it and you explore it and you understand the code. So I have done exactly what you're doing now, which is explore the code. I've told it to turn left 10. That's 10 degrees. Uh, in mathematics, a degree is an amount of angle that we can rotate by. I'm going to rotate by 10 degrees, and if I run this, I can run my module, and let's see what happens. There's my blue circle, turtle turns by 10 degrees, and there you go. It's very slightly off. By how much? Well, let's guess, 10 degrees. Um, so I now have two circles, and that's really cool. So I'm now going to repeat that again. I need to add that line to here, otherwise it's not going to work. Turtle dot left. And then I'm just going to copy that line. Paste it. And paste it again. And paste it again. And paste it again. And that should be enough. So run and run. They're all black. I'm not going to change their colors at this stage. But they're all black. There you go. And they're 10 degrees. They're 10 degrees. They're 10 degrees. Ooh. And that's where we're going to get to for now.